I always tried something and then the next day I'd give up. Not one of those people that can stick to things. I just got into like a very bad rut and I'd just go back into this cycle of failure. Really did not like my life. I did not like myself. So I wanted to make a video on self-discipline because I used to be someone who was not disciplined at all. I've actually never been disciplined. I've never stuck to anything in my life. I've never stuck to habits. I've never stuck to a routine. I've never had like a hobby that I've stuck to. I've always tried stuff and then given up and then felt like I'm just not one of those people. Yeah, I used to be, I used to be so unhappy with my life. I used to go on TikTok and go on social media for sometimes nine hours a day. I'd be watching YouTube videos all day, not really doing anything. I'd just be eating sugar and junk and I'd be smoking weed when I'm bored instead of actually doing anything with my time. And I just got into like a very bad rut of not doing anything and not being disciplined. And to be honest, I really did not like my life. I did not like myself. Um, and yeah, I wanted to share how I've gone from that to someone who now meditates every day, I do yoga every day, I have a cold shower every day, I make sure I cook fresh healthy meals and how I've been able to go from that to this because let me tell you I literally would never have believed that I could be this person who I am today, I would not have believed it. I've been in the position of many many people, the only thing that's changed is my approach of how I did it and that's the most important thing because many people think that you're not a disciplined person or that you just can't do it. You're just not one of those people, but actually discipline is a skill. It's not a characteristic of a person. So anybody can be disciplined. You can be disciplined no matter what position you're in, no matter how your life looks, you can become one of those people that you think you can't become. And that's just super important to remember because we need to have hope here that we can change as people. And this is like a very limiting belief that we put on ourselves that I can't change. I can't change as a person, but that's all it is. It's just a limiting belief. It's not reality. What's most important is the approach of how you become disciplined, which I'm gonna go through a few of the things that I did. The number one thing I'd encourage you to think about and question is whatever it is you want to become disciplined on or you're thinking of doing is to question to yourself why you want to do that and this is so important because I feel like we just watch what other people are doing and think about what we should be doing and not actually thinking what is like applying to our life like I always used to sign up to the gym because I thought that's what I should be doing but I hate the gym and I literally spent, wasted so much money on the gym because that's just what I thought I should be doing instead of actually thinking what suits me, what fits my life. I think there's like a massive trend of that girl routine. Definitely think some bits can be inspiring and definitely yes, take things from somewhere, but just always question why you're doing what you're doing. Just make sure that you understand what, what, what meaning does this have to your life? Because at the end of the day, this is your life. It doesn't matter what anybody else is doing. It doesn't matter what anybody else's routine is doing. If the billionaire's routine is to drink lemon water in the morning, are you gonna do that if you don't like lemons? We need to be doing stuff which resonates with us and our life and also educate yourself on it. So for example, for me, I meditate every day and because it truly means something to me in terms of I experience stress and anxiety quite a lot and so for me meditation I can see the benefits of that I've read into it I've listened to podcasts educate yourself on it so that you can really understand because there's a difference between knowing and there's a difference between understanding we all know that eating well is good for us we all know that drinking water is good for us we all know that exercise is good for us we all know that meditating is good for us but do we truly understand like do we truly understand why it is good for us look into it and educate yourself on it because that's when these changes will truly mean something to you because they have to have meaning to you for you to stick to it right they have to mean something it can't just be because you just want to do it because that's what everybody else is doing it's just not really beneficial to you so my biggest biggest tip would to be focus on one thing and I know that that is such an annoying thing to say because we all want quick fixes and we all want to be that person straight away. And I don't know about you, but I've done it so many times where I'm like, okay, I wanna change my life. I'm motivated and I wanna change my life. Okay, tomorrow I'm gonna change everything. So I get up, I go for a run and I eat 
loads of bananas and then I jump off a cliff <laughs> after like two days yeah, I'm just bored of it or I'm just like oh I can't do it and I just give up and then I'm like okay I'm not one of those people and that's because I'm overwhelmed that's because you're overwhelmed with doing too much you have to look at it like this you either have the option where you have to accept that this is a process and this is a bit of a longer process and takes effort or you're not gonna get there that is the two options. So all this quick fix, all these things that we just want to happen right now, it's just not going to happen. And you're actually gonna waste your own time and waste your own energy and effort by continuing to go in this cycle of trying to look for quick fixes. You actually need to just accept that this is a process and these things take time. So for example, with meditation, I started with 10 minutes a day. I'm now up to half an hour a day, but that's five months later. So it's, it's like super unrealistic to think that you can go from not meditating to meditating half an hour a day. It's just super unrealistic. If you want these to be part, if you want to make things part of your routine, part of your habits, you need to start small because what matters most is just being consistent and just getting it into your routine and then you can build on it so much easier. I spent three months just solely focusing on my diet and in those three months, I was truly educating myself a lot about food. I was educating myself about sugar, what it's doing to my body, what it's doing to my mental health. I was learning how to cook different recipes. I was um, making sure that I was putting so much time and effort into this. And it took me three months to focus on that. And that's okay. Because since then, I've upkept my diet. So, you know, these things do stick. I just had no space to not do anything else but stick to my diet. Like to me, that was the most important because I had no discipline at this point. I had no habits, I had no, no good routine. So for me to stick to just one thing was a very overwhelming thing. But maybe you're in a place where you already have your diet down and you already exercise daily. So you already have disciplined skills. So it might be easier for you to implement more things. But if you're starting from the bottom or you're starting from the, being a very beginner of discipline basically then I would really advise you to focus on one thing it's a skill that needs training and it's a process it takes time just like any other skill just like learning an instrument it takes time you're not going to be able to get there straight away and the sooner you accept that the easier it is because you'll just do it you just get on with it and before you know it time really does fly time goes so quickly and you're already the person that you you wanted to be in just a few months if you changed one thing you could be that a different person in three months like you just have to accept that this is the process if you're starting from the beginning or you've lived your whole life in a certain way and now you're changing it, you're doing years of unconditioning. That's the thing, you know, like say you've eaten bad food for your whole life and now you've decided like, no, okay, I really want to be intentional with my body and be eating well. That's years of unconditioning that you have to do. So it's gonna take time. You can't just snap to the next day. You just know everything and you just eat well and do all this. Like that just doesn't, it's not realistic. If you're really serious about transforming like who you are and how your habits and your lifestyle and how you've been living for your whole life or however long if you're truly serious about that then don't you think that this process deserves that time and attention don't you think that you deserve to be putting in your ultimate time energy attention to actually changing these things about you because because it's important like this is your life at the end of the day you're not happy with where you are now so yes this deserves so much time and energy it's not going to be a quick fix and why would it be because it deserves time it deserves patience these are slow pro this is a slow process slow changes which in the end will be so much more worth it the confidence you gain from becoming disciplined is just like amazing it's not just the discipline you gain it's so much more when we tell ourselves that we're gonna do something and we don't do it we lose trust in ourselves just like if you were to tell a friend that you're gonna see them and then you don't see them and then you get you tell them that you're gonna do this and do that and you don't do it they're just gonna start to disbelieve you and we do that to ourselves okay we say I'm gonna do this I'm gonna eat well I'm gonna do exercise every day and then we don't do it and so we lose trust in ourselves and maybe not on a conscious level but on some level that does chip away our self-esteem and our self-confidence because we just start to have these beliefs that 
we're not this type of person, you know, we're not a strong, resilient person. And that chips away at you. That's the thing with starting with focusing on one thing, because when we break through that belief of I'm not this, I can't change, I'm not those type of people, when you focus on one thing and say after a month or two months of, of just doing that thing, your belief starts to change that actually, okay, look, like I actually am this person that can do that thing. And then you have the confidence to try something else. So I did no sugar for three months. And then after that, I decided to do a yoga challenge where I did yoga every day for 30 days. And I started doing that. And within two weeks, I was feeling like, okay, I'm doing yoga every day. My diet's like amazing. What else can I add in? And then that's when I started to do meditation and cold showers. And at this point, I was really believing that I was someone that could be disciplined and I can easily st stick to these things. And because I had the confidence in myself, because I've already sticked to this one thing for three months. And so it really broke through like a barrier. At this point, I knew that I wouldn't be overwhelmed because I really believed in myself. You really do gain so much confidence in yourself, knowing what type of person you are, knowing you're resilient, knowing you're strong in terms of if you needed to do something, you stick to your word and you trust in yourself. You start to trust that you know you're there for yourself. Because discipline, you have to do the thing even when you don't feel like it. And that's the important part is you need to get become comfortable with being uncomfortable and that's just it. Like you have to be comfortable with doing things when you don't want to do it. You have to be comfortable with feeling bad and feeling angry or feeling sad and still doing the thing anyway, because that's the only way it's gonna get through. We're always, always gonna make excuses. We're always gonna wanna be in comfort. There's always gonna be something that happens that makes us not want to do it. But if you train yourself to become comfortable with being uncomfortable, it will be so much easier for you. It's funny because as adults, we don't really get this like integration period where we suddenly know how to take care of ourselves and know that we're totally responsible because obviously as kids, we have our parents to teach us discipline and like discipline is so important to protect and make you healthy because if you just, if your kids just did whatever they wanted and just went off all their feelings, they're not gonna be safe, they're not gonna be happy. For example, if your kid's like wanting to run across the road, tell your kid that that's not safe and then they know to not do that. So even if they felt like doing it, they know not to do it because they could be in harm's way. And it's the same when we're adults, we don't have this, it's like we just lose control because we're adults and we can do what we want and we can drink and we can go and have sex with anybody and we can eat what we want and we can do that but is that gonna lead to health and happiness? Because I think a lot of the times it doesn't. Like I love sugar, I love chocolate, but if I just let myself just do whatever I want, am I really looking after myself? We need to learn how to have this skill as adults because we can see that in children it's so important and it's still so important as adults. We've just never been taught that. We've never been shown and integrated into adults about how to just take responsibility with ourselves, you know, and look after ourselves because at the end of the day, we've, on we've only got ourselves, this is our life, and we have to look after ourselves. No one else is gonna change responsibility for us. It's just important to think about who do you want your future self to be? Who you are today is because of all your past actions and all your past choices and all your past decisions. And that can sometimes be hard to face because it means taking responsibility and looking at ourselves in the mirror and being like, actually where I am today is because of that. And maybe you're not happy with your body or whatever. And it's because of those past decisions in those little tiny moments day to day that have added to where you are now. And when you look at it like that, it means that every decision that you make today, every little decision that you make every day is gonna add up into who you are in the future. It makes us realize that we can create who we want to be. We constantly need to be thinking towards your future self. Who do you want to be in a year? Who do you want to be in three months? Maybe you've been in this cycle for a few years or your whole life. Do you still want to be that same person in a year? And that's why it's also okay that this is a slow process because time is going to pass anyway. It's gonna go anyway. So yeah, the point of this video is that 
I just want to show that I really feel like I was just someone who before who was just like a total consumer. But all I was doing was just indulging in those habits that were not making me feel good. I know that so many young people now on social media who just are on their phones all day for hours and hours and there's so many people who they're at home and they're not really doing anything with their time but then they just can't seem to know what to do to make a shift and yeah i just wanted to remind you that it's not a characteristic discipline is not a characteristic anybody can be disciplined you can be disciplined no matter what position you're in you don't know how to do you don't have anything going for you at all it doesn't matter you can literally be that person you might not believe it now and that's okay that's why you just have to stick to one thing whatever that looks like for you that's why we can't compare okay we can't compare to what other people are doing your time management your family your environment everything your experiences are so different from anybody else it's so irrelevant what anybody else is doing or you on your journey and everybody's journey is gonna look different and so yeah I just wanted to explain how I kind of overcame some stuff I hope it kind of explains and helps how maybe you could implement these kind of tips into your life and just remember that you can change think to your future self think to who you want to be in a year and know that every single decision every single choice even though it feels right now like it's small was gonna get you to where you want to be. So yes, thank you for watching the video. I really hope it helps you somehow.